another small video today. Today I'm going to be showing you my dick. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I really wanted to say that joke, but I'm over it now. So, what this is talking about is this bottom plate here needs to attach to this part where the electronics is going. Now, I've done a few things, minor things that um, I hadn't really talked to a proper video about again yet. Basically, putting the um, power inlet on. Um, in short, that was very tough to put on. Once that is on there, you won't be able to properly level your stuff anymore. So make sure it's all level before you do that. See how that sort of sits a little bit up? Okay. And I've also put this bit on here while I've um, put the deck on, because in hindsight, I should have put this deck on first. Because this bit can fall down because um, it can become loose. So that's why I had the string on there. But because of that also, I need to take this part off because it sits basically under here and wedged in there. So you can imagine the bottom deck needs to fit into this bit and as well as that, it needs to have a cutout for the stepper motors and a cutout for the rear electronics enclosure. So there's three squares that you need to cut. So I've um, measured up what to do exactly for a 250mm build and I'll put those on the screen here. If I'm really crafty, I might even have like a, a little picture that I've put up on this bit to give you an idea of where all the things get cut. So that's why I'm staying still. All right, did it work or not? <laughs> Let's find out. So you need to have it be, so it starts out 370mm by 370mm, again on a 250mm build. Now 370mm should make it so that it will sit in there. Now I'll just double confirm that. I will be um, cutting this very shortly. So again, 370mm, which is the length, let's um, do this properly, 370mm, huh, helps if I use the proper size of the ruler, right? Right, so 370mm, gets us to there. So it's pretty much each side of the deck. All right, so now with that done. So I was going to mention about these deck clips, which I thought that were, um, would snap in and clip your panel on. But looking at it now, it makes no sense because mm -hmm. If that clips in there, it's going to be too tall for that part. So I think this is more for the side panels. Looking at the source of where it's from, it's from the it's support from the 1.6 manual, and there's no mention of it in the 1.6 manual, and that's about all I know. So let's ignore that and do our 370mm stuff. So if you're doing a three uh, 300mm build, this is again 250mm build, what you Oh, hang on a sec. Sorry about that. I forgot I, I was recording or not. If this is a 250mm build, you go by the length of this part. So this is 370mm, therefore that's 370mm. You can cut slightly larger because it looks like this bit will be fitting in place. Oh, no, it won't. So it has to be inside this bit. So I'll keep that in mind. Slightly under 370 because the bit that holds it in it's pretty much this part. That's why you don't need to be precise when cutting the stepper motor. And um, the power supply, as well as up here. So it's, it's uh, again, it's not a structural part, but it's not going to be loose too easily. So get your marker. Put a marker for just under 370. Okay, so let's do that. 370, just under. I'll uh, get right close to it so you can see it. 369, let's do that. Okay. And another mark up here, so 370 again. 3, oh, again, because of my um, square being not 370 on both sides, I need to flip it over which is fine. 370 again. So I'm doing just under 370. Okay. 
Okay. 368. So now, what we need to do, just looking at the measurements here, I need to go up. Okay. So I've got this written down. So let's draw out our 370 mil square. So we've got our markings. Wow, I can't. My eyesight must be getting bad here. I didn't see where this marking was. Oh, it is here. So we've got a marking here and a marking there. Let's draw a flat line. Again, 370 mil. There we go. Just a tad under. There's our line. I don't know if you can see that too well. I'm trying to catch in the highlights there. Otherwise, this is going to be mostly a video of me drawing a black line that you can't even see properly. Excellent. Okay. Same thing again. Line that up. Again, 370 mil. There we go. So now we have a square. Now I need to go up 122 mil. Looking at the uh, Voron 1.6 manual, it was much simpler. They pretty much only cut out holes for the steppers and not the like, rear electronics enclosure. And um, they had their dimensions as 121 mil, and I've got 122. Um, I'm going by the CAD file, so. But one mil out, it's uh, pretty easy. So 122, is that what I said? 122 mil up. So I'm cutting out the stepper motor part. I'll do that again here. One twenty two mil. Okay, and needs to go out forty four mil. There we go, forty four. Now with the stepper motors, again, you don't have to be too precise. Just going to double check there. So it's going to be 44 mil wide. By 47 mil long. There we go. Forty. I keep doubting myself here. Forty-four mil wide. And forty mil long. Forty-seven mil long. Seven. Draw that bit in as well. There we go. That's a stepper hole. I'm going to cheat here and go. There's a foot again. 47 mil long. Okay, line this bit up, straight line, so 
So, here's a stepper hole. What I might do to make sure you actually can see this is um, I'm going to do the flashlight. Let's see if you can see the highlight. So, there's the stepper motor, there's the other parts, and there's the outline of the thing. The last bit we need to do up here is a rear electronics enclosure. So, if you see, picture how I'm doing this, it's in reverse. So, we've just cut out the stepper motor holes. Now, we're going to do the rear electronics enclosure part. So, this is so um, 24 volt power can go into the back there to power things like the pie and the fan, stuff like that. So, 45 mil long. By 140 mil wide, so it goes up here. Top right, yep. 45 mil long. This can be a little bit shorter too. So I'm going to go 42. By 140 wide. Now I'm expecting this to probably be the part where the power supply isn't. Okay, make sure that's lined up. So we're going 42, I think. It's a little bit smaller. So this hole is actually covered up by the actual rear electronics enclosure itself. So Depending on the width of that, uh, the depth of that, that'll this bit will be totally invisible. Okay, that's now done. That's exciting. So let's do some cutting. I'll get my trusty um, knife. Knife get um, a good quality Stanley knife goes a long, long way for doing these kind of bits. I've learned. Um, just to have a quick demo here. Um, And ta-da! Here we go. So, again, stepper motors. I'll probably have to clean off some of these sides. I'd imagine um, if this was on correctly. Yeah, let's just see how it goes. So. <clears throat> see right? Okay. So, stepper motors should go here. My cable routing... So I wonder if the cable routing is wrong, but anyway, stepper motors are there and the power supply is there. Let's um, put this on and restart. Okay, so the rail has been removed, the power supply has been removed. If you're following this properly, you wouldn't have installed those bits anyway yet, so that's all fine by you. So I'll slot this in. Now again, if this doesn't fit in properly, that's okay, because you can fiddle around this and cut stuff later on. Gonna put this over here. Okay, that's in nicely. It's in nicely as well. Okay. Great. Great. Now, remember, this doesn't slot into the middle channel of the extrusion. It actually gets wedged. Um, front. If um, you have messed this up a little bit, don't worry, because you can put a little bit of black sheeting underneath too. Okay, so I'm going to gently press it in place. There we go. 
Shoot it down. Okay. Okay, that's in. So again, I've got a little bit of um, extra room there, um, which isn't ideal, but you'll have to look very hard to see it. You'll also um, see at the back here, there is a bit of room. That's fine because you don't see it because of the rear enclosure. All right. Now with these bits there, I'm going to put in the power supply first because that was a bit of a pain to put in. Now this makes a lot more sense the way it's mounted here with just um, the clips on that because once that screws in, that's the main holding of that done. So I'll put this in. That's our power supply done. Now if you're watching this video, um, I, I apologise for it for being so long for what is essentially screwing a panel and put it here, but it's pretty much me doing in real time and probably what a lot of people, especially if you're new to it, would um, take as well. So there's that. All right. That looks nice with that bit on. I'm glad um, that method's there. So the rail is installed now. Let's put that on. Screw that in. It is much, much, much easier if you install the power supply first and then the um, rail. I know this from experience now. Okay, that's in. This is very pleasant this way. Okay, that's in, that's in. Also do this bit. Uh, if you want to be um, technical, an Allen key would probably be better for this, but I'm uh, winging it through and doing okay. There we go. Excellent. Now again, it doesn't need to be too tight. There we go. I'll leave that up there for this screw as well too. It doesn't mean need to be too tight because Weight-wise, this is holding barely anything. So structurally, these are very sound. Like this is an M5, two M5 nuts into a steel rail holding an Omron thing which weighs, uh, I'm going to be wrong here, but probably under 100 grams. Look at that. That's pretty nice, eh? All right, so that's our um, deck there. I'm going to take a picture. Another one. Do you reckon my YouTube title for this will be check out my deck? Like all New Zealand things. I know you're groaning. I'm groaning at it too. I'm sorry. That's this done. I'm going to try and turn this around the right way around. And have a look at it. So I'll move this off the way. Put my very lovely improvised uh, table padding and flip it over. So before, the reason I had this um, tying bit on here was to hold it in place because I felt very weak where if this is upside down this would move a little bit and see then fall out of place and then you'd be in a lot of trouble. That's not much of a bother anymore so I'll eventually take that off. Okay, so let's turn this around. Now, this thing is pretty stable, but you've still got to be careful flipping it around anyway. So see that deck's come up a little bit. Um, the deck coming up like this will not be a problem. Oh, again, this, so this won't sit flat because of the power inlet there. This won't be a problem here. I won't be able to push that in, will I? That's fine. Oh, I will. Just needs a bit of pressure. Um, it's fine if this bit is not um, going, looking a bit off because your rear enclosure, which I'll, I'll put in place in a moment, will um, cover that. That's pretty cool. All right. Take another picture, and I'll show you what the rear enclosure looks like briefly. So 
here's a rough look of how the rear enclosure will look. Um, so you can see here you've got your SKR board connected to a Pi and there would normally be a fan, a 6020 that goes up there. So you would have a little bit of sheeting going there. This bit will click in like that. It actually moves a tiny little bit back more. So you can see there, there's the, um, the hole that's um, exposed for your cable routing at the back. And from the front, it should look like that. That looks pretty nice. I, I like that. So I could see now why it shifted forward to the back and there's a bit of blow to the rear there for the well rear enclosure. Um, you can see I've, I've messed up that a little bit. That's fine. I can live with that. So what I've used for these bits here is stuff called core flute. Um, I'll talk about this properly another time. Or foam board. Foam board, sorry. Now the advantage of foam board is that it's thicker, but you could squish a little bit to go inside the channel. So now this doesn't bend around. And so I think some people have been reporting problems where this bit will um, bounce on this and make a loud rattling noise. So they have a bit of tape or foam in there. This would fix that because it would be wedged in there and not um, move nearly as much. So, that's your deck added in. It's, um, that's, it, it, I, I like the look of that. That makes me pretty happy. Alright, um, that's about it for this.